Give and grow, what's up? Eric and Ryan coming at you today, February 24th, 2023. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Ryan, are the Bears back in business? Uh, it's, look, it's looking like it right now. Man, let's take a look at it. So we were just talking about this. We had three big things this week. We had FOMC minutes, we had GDP, and we had PC, correct? Yeah. And if I recall, all those were pretty bearish as far as um as far as not meeting expectations um what do you what do you think about all that well the minutes you know it's just reiterating what they've been saying yeah you know it's it's, it's like you know if, if inflation comes back if it's going back up then they're gonna have to change to change back to their old ways uh gdp came out at what 2.7 percent compared to 2.9 which yep. was which was expected um and then yeah uh the, the pc that came out today you know came out red hot so it's uh it's not it's not looking too good it's not looking too good as far as um inflation's concerned but you know it could still be an outlier you know one month you never know we're <laughs> we're going to just uh we're going to just go and see there's a couple of things that are coming up that i think is really going to solidify uh Right now, to me, and you know, I'll keep this brief. Um, initial jobless claims for the past few weeks have been have been very low, a lot low, or not like a lot lower than expectations, but lower than than expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is going to lead me to believe that potentially the unemployment number and the non farm payrolls might come in higher than what they thought, which is not good for. Inflation is not good for the Fed's plan. Uh, and yeah, after that, it's CPI. Uh, I think it's coming out like March the 13th or 14th or something like that. Or it's around there. But uh, that's also coming up at, within, the, within the next few weeks. And uh, FOMC in March is going to be the, the, real, the real time. I'm already seeing people saying that they're going to raise uh, interest rates by 50 base points. Uh, Man, that would that would be super crazy if that happens. Yeah, yeah, they have to raise the fund rate again. It, it just is what it is, man. I mean, you know, you know, unemployment. You know, the labor market is still so strong; it hasn't been budging, and that affects inflation. You know, it just means that like there's there's more money being made. Yes, and sir. The the more money being made, that's going to affect inflation. It's it's going to affect companies. To, you know people have been calling for this recession whatever so you know it might it might it might be looking looking like it right now yes it's all exciting man let's uh let's take a a little look at our sq so we're still trying to if you've been following us along you know we have some plays at 48 49 we're trying to get out of um but we're, we're inching our way closer i know we got over 40 a couple of times today um, I actually hit my goals this week um, because I had a little bit of cash. So I'd, I'm going to do my first short tomorrow, just kind of go over that. But had some, some SQ stock and had some SQ options. But man, Ryan and I are so excited about the, uh, the direction we're about to take this channel. Um, we're getting excited about going over our weekly goals again. We're going to be changing some things up and we're going to be doing a lot of videos going over those changes. Um, and just, just making a stronger, better system for this community um, so we can all continue to make money and just grow in our knowledge and um, just to live the best lives we can live, you know? Yeah. So on the SPY, broke the trend line going down. Yeah. And we're kind of, you know, we're, we're underneath it. We're approaching the 200-day moving average, it looks like right here, uh, on, on the daily. There's a lot of support coming up. We had a lot more volume than I thought we had today. Wow. I didn't yeah. realize I got that. Yeah, I think wow. a lot of it was selling volume, honestly. Uh, just be mindful of the charts. Be mindful of um, what's coming up. So like last week I asked you, I said, you know, can we test 400? Um, obviously, we got below. We closed at 396.38. Um, we're not going to give a target or anything, but do you think we try to go to, to 390 next week, I mean, possibly? I mean, it's, it's possible. De it's definitely possible. Okay. The thing is, is that, is that like, you know, there's no good catalyst coming up that like, that like would help 
Yeah, uh, nothing crazy next week. How's a VIX looking? Let's see here. Pretty the, good up today. The VIX has been has been doing pretty uh pretty good. Yeah, we had a gap. We filled that gap. So um the VIX um if you're new to studying the VIX, it just measures uh, volatility in the market. And usually when the VIX is going up, um the regular indexes like the SPY, um the Dow, Nasdaq are usually going down. Um, yeah. So we'll have to keep our eye on a VIX or on the VIX. Um, and how the dollar do today? Uh, the dollar went up a little bit. Yeah, the dollar has been doing really good. Look at that. Okay. I mean, I mean, over the past uh, the past few days, I mean, you know, it's been going from like 102 all the way up to 105, 26. Bullish for the dollar, bearish for stocks and equities. Okay. Right. So like, you know, the VIX, the VIX, the dollar, they're both going up. Uh, the SPY and the Q's going down. Uh, you know, there are some key levels to look out for, though, on the SPY, you know, 395, uh, 3, 395, 393, and 390 are all, like, pretty big uh, support levels for the SPY. Uh, the Q's, 290, 290, 287. Uh, I think that 287, on the, let me go to the Q's real quick, on the daily. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, the 200 day moving average down here at 289 so like this like 290 289 level if the Qs and the spy can break both of those it's just a matter of just looking at like past levels but um yeah they had increased volume too today so. yeah but wow. you know these um you know this stuff we sold off but we're just getting to these levels where um you know the there you know there's support you know what i mean it's uh you know i I think that we're still in this time right now where we're not going to get crazy downturns. I mean, you know, the spy, the spy closed at three ninety six thirty eight, which you know, I mean, it dropped one percent uh, on the day. So it's not really. I mean, it is kind of big, but it's not like huge. Like it's not like those like old like twenty twenty two. The spy and, and the Nasdaq going up like three to four percent in one day kind of deal. It's more of like we're kind of on like a slow train right now, going going up and down. Um, yeah, we're we're slowly roasting the chicken right now for sure. Right. I mean, I mean, since since the beginning of of February and like you know when Powell came out and talked again uh, a couple weeks ago. I mean. The spies come down from 418 to 396. The Qs have come down from like 313 to 290, 291. And you know who knows how far we're go we're gonna go down. But you know that's why you just gotta just be careful. You gotta you gotta look at the charts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look so, at you know look look at all these things. Yeah. Yeah. Is this three straight weeks you've hit on your cash secured puts for your paper trading? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I did. Congrats, uh, been... man. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, I'm I'm so I've already talked about it once, but I'm I'm so excited to show some of the new stuff we're about to be rolling out. Oh just, yeah, um, it's a different things we can do. Um, with a lot more protection. Yeah, uh, but I, insurance I don't, protection. Yeah, man. yeah, and I don't want to get into it really in this video, but just know it's coming, and we are super excited. Yeah, no. and you did a calendar spread too. I think, yeah, yeah, right? I did. Okay, I did a couple of calendar spreads. I did I did one cash secured put. They all printed. It was pretty cool. I think. Uh, I think for the month of February, for the past three weeks in my paper trades, I think I made like 3.3k. And yeah, it's not it's not real, but it's to prepare me for the real. And and that's what our system that that we're gonna try to get into and really really be methodical about. Uh, we're hoping that that's gonna be something that's gonna, that is gonna help us achieve our one yeah. to two percent. Yeah, and if you're new to investing. Um, especially options and all the different strategies you can use, you know, I highly recommend paper trade for three to six months, even, you know, get used to it, get a system and honestly get a feel for different situations in the market because every season can bring different things. Just because you've done it for a year doesn't mean that the next year there could be like a complete different anomaly that throws just everything, you know, off. So right. yeah. always learn, study, you know, do your TNT as Ryan likes to say yeah um but guys um i'm super excited um but yeah i think that's all i have for today yeah. ron you got yeah, anything else i got be on the lookout for my pretty, short tomorrow yeah i mean it's been a pretty simple week i mean data coming yeah. out it's bad the market's selling off and uh just be careful man i know that like a lot of people you know that they, they bought up here 
and now we're going down and you know we've been saying this stuff for a while like you know short term long term you got you got to look at the at the trend the news technicals it's like you know people thought that we we're going to be getting out of this bull market so, sorry out of this bear market uh, but it looks like that things i mean you know here we go you know we're on the spy right here oh shoot we're on the spy right here and uh you know on the weekly you know you know we had a chance to do because we had like head and shoulders right here going to the upside and you know three weeks in a row it's been red you know we're hitting these trend lines you know you never know what's going to happen we, we might bounce off of this yeah i mean i mean we could we could very very easily just go up from here you never know but oh. <laughs> with the current with the current economic conditions right now it's is very very hard for me to believe that we're going to keep going uh higher than like you know some of these levels up here i mean there's been nothing but but bearish news for the past like few weeks so yeah you're exactly right yeah just be careful all right man well until next time let's continue to give and grow we love y'all